So P. Diddy came out a few days ago with an apology video on the whole Cassie video situation being leaked. And I think it's really funny because you can see in the video, it's like, if I'm being honest, I know this is like a serious situation, but P. Diddy looks really funny in this video. Like, he looks hysterical, and you can tell that he's just, he's just doing this to look good and trying to save his image. But, I mean, it's too late. It, it's it's too late you you are gonna be seen like r kelly now the way r kelly's seen your music will have um you know it will be known for who you are and not for the art of it because i don't think we i don't think anybody plays r kelly anymore but this is an apology video it's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life sometimes you got to do that i was fucked up I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. Hmm. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy. Going to rehab. Had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. Look, I have no problem with him apologizing and him asking God for grace um, and mercy on this situation. I have no problem with that. But he is only doing this because footage was leaked, because people caught him. He's not doing this from a genuine heart because if he had been, he would have confessed to it from the beginning. He would have found help a lot sooner and not have kept this hidden for so long. But because he's exposed now, because the truth will always come to light, the truth will always come to pass. There is no secret in this world that I believe has stayed a secret. There is nothing that is as dark as this that you can take to your grave. There, Everything will come to light. Even the Bible says that everything is going to be exposed. What, what good and bad that you did even when you're up in heaven when the day of judgment comes every good and bad deed we did god will expose and bring to light and he will judge so you know he's being judged by the world now p diddy but he will be judged by god in eternity by what happened and this is the video of that he's talking about that's been going viral on the internet let me play it. A newly released video appears to show a violent assault by rapper and producer Sean Diddy Combs on his then girlfriend. This graphic footage was obtained by CNN, which says it shows Combs in a towel chasing Cassie Ventura down a Los Angeles hotel hallway back in 2016. Mm. Ventura, which you'll see, is grabbed by her neck and thrown to the floor and then it kicked twice and then dragged. Now, we're not going to show the entire video because it is disturbing. Yeah. Ventura's lawyer says this video corroborates allegations made in a since settled lawsuit that Combs physically abused her for years. Combs has previously denied the allegations. ABC News has not independently verified the video and has reached out to Combs' representatives for comment. See, if he was being genuine about his apology, he would have said this back in 2016 and not now, eight years later. But now that he's getting caught for all of these things that he's done, now he he's feels sorry. A lot of people are saying in the comments, he's sorry the video came out. Did he ever say this to Cassie? Didn't he fight it when Cassie spoke up about, spoke, spoke up about it? He should have said this then, then. It's not truthful now or he would have not fought it. Exactly. So I really pray that he truly repents and ultimately only God knows a person's heart. I can't say anything because I don't know his heart. But God sees our genuine motives, our intentions, and there is nothing that we can't hide from him. T.D. Jakes has also been um, covered a lot in this um, controversy with P. Diddy where T.D. Jakes is said to have been uh, taken part in like sleeping around, um, just like... I think the trafficking, all of these things, and T.D. Jakes obviously defends himself, but we never know. At the end of the day, God knows his heart, but this is what he, what he had to say about the video of Cassie being released. When I saw the images that have been floating all over the news all week, it became difficult to watch. Hmm. The atrocious, degrading, demeaning, debauching. 
sanctuary. I, 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 I know who it was, but I saw my daughters. And it made me angry. It made me angry. And I thought, if, if it affected me like that as a man, how much more is that, that image a trigger for women who have been through that? Who are currently going through that? Who yeah. are in the middle of that? Who feel trapped? Something you need to understand. If you got a rage, you can't control. If you have an emotional problem, a mental health issue, where you're bipolar, you got to get some help, dude. If you're into substance abuse and it turns you into a weapon, you got to get some help. It triggered me as a father. I knew that when my daughter's laying there, but it seemed like it was. I, I got mad, like it was me. Men, we got to care. When somebody kicks you and stomps you and beats you, it should nobody, nobody deserves to be treated like that. It's going to take us to stand up. It's going to take us to speak up. It's going to take us to say something. Until men start speaking up and saying enough is enough, there's not going to be the change that we need. I mean, obviously, yeah, I agree with everything he says, but it's T.D. Jake saying it, and you kind of don't know. First of all, why is he preaching about this? Um, in his, you know, at Sunday service, because I think that with Sunday service, yeah, of course, we have to talk about culture and politics, but we can do that without actually mentioning the person and the artist. I think that the when you're at Sunday service, it should be about Jesus and the scripture and the Holy Bible. But I do wonder why he's mentioning this. And maybe because, you know, he's so closely linked to the case and people have had controversy with him and P. Diddy and have had pictures of them together. So that's what's tough. Um, but it's kind of hard for T.D. Jakes and for us to realize why he's saying this when he has been, you know, I guess close friends with P. Diddy and has been a part of this controversy, this whole scandal. And I'm sure it's taken a toll on him and his ministry. And clearly he's still seen as innocent because he's not, you know, in jail for any of the things that he did. But he has been accused. I haven't really seen him speak out on defending himself in this case. He's more, he, he just said, there was a video where he said that the, the blood of Christ can um, forget, um, wash my sins of anything so it's kind of like hints that he did do this um what he was accused of which is like sleeping around um committing adultery sleeping around with men and i'm not sure you know he, at, at the end of the day like i said before god knows people's hearts and he could be deceiving us it says um second timothy three but evil people who pretend to be what they are not will become worse than ever as they fool others and are fooled themselves and i think i see this a lot with like p diddy clearly and td jakes where they will they're they're pretending to be people they're not and then they, by deceiving others they're deceiving themselves because they themselves believe that they are good people and that they are you know genuinely like doing things from the goodness of their hearts but because they are so so um used to deceiving others they're deceiving themselves while lying to others and that's what's happening with both of these people with p diddy and td jakes and i don't want to say that td jakes is guilty i really don't know but the allegations the rumors i really feel like rumors don't lie i think that um if you're accused of something most of the time you are guilty of it and also the fact that he hasn't really come out to defend himself against the case and the allegations he's mostly just said how i said before like the the blood of jesus can wash my sins of anything and i just feel like that's off and yeah there's just a lot of teachings also of td jakes that are very controversial and not biblical um and yeah just this whole situation is just crazy and it's sad that the church had to be involved in this situation too that the, that a pastor only gets attention for stuff like this because there is amazing pastors out there i think a lot of times people lose their faith in christianity because um the pastor is like you know he is accused of being a pedophile he which he is like there's pastors or priests who have been um you know exposed for being pedophiles for being abusers but the people who are great pastors like my pastor and many other pastors i've met they never get that kind of media attention because obviously media loves controversy and scandals so a lot of people you know they resort to they don't follow christ because they look at the people in it and they're like wow like i don't want that and um it's sad because that this is what's publicized you know as pastors like this whereas there's really great pastors that aren't as publicized and aren't popular because they're more peaceful and calm and they're actually genuine christians but i really hope that people don't look at td jakes and decide not to follow christ because of that i hope that they realize that jesus is is um 
his own his own being his own person and that the christians don't always reflect who jesus is and that we have to look to god and not to people we always always have to look at jesus and the bible and not people and we can't allow people to um you know shape our faith and shape who we are in christ especially the leaders of the church of pastors because they will fail us but yeah i just think that this is just a crazy situation and i hope that as more time goes on that if td jakes did do this that he will be exposed and taken out out of his pastoral leadership because we don't want wolf in sheep's clothing leading others astray as well but yeah let me know your thoughts on this and i am out